Hey guys, this is Ryan with Tonic Size Shop, and in this super quick tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your new podcast page and make it dynamic so that your show notes automatically pull into this page, and you don't actually have to manually do that. First, let's just take a look at the podcast page. So if we scroll down here, we'll see that there's a featured episodes section. So we're gonna learn how you can tag your show notes as featured episodes so they show up here. And then we have our latest episode section here, and this is going to automatically pull in the six most recent show notes that have been categorized as podcast. So we're gonna look at how to add this to our show account, how to set up the page, and how to create show notes in WordPress so all of this works together seamlessly. So the first thing that you'll want to do is add your new podcast page to your show it account. So when you're inside of show it, if you go to the bottom left, you'll see your name or your brand name. Go ahead and click on that and then click on add to library. This is where you're gonna add your design key that was given to you when you purchased the podcast page. Go ahead and plug that in and then press enter and it's going to add the podcast page to your show it account. Now it's not gonna automatically add the page to your current design. We actually have to do that separately. So right next to blog templates, go ahead and click on the plus sign click on select new blog template, click on my library, then podcast page by tonic, click on podcast, and this is the one that's under blog templates. Use original design and then go ahead and click on add. Now we have our podcast page in our show it account, but we still need to do one more thing and that is we need to jump over to our WordPress dashboard and then you're gonna click on pages and then you're gonna create a new page, and this page is gonna be called Podcast. And I'll show you here why in a second, but go ahead and type in Podcast. Um, make sure that the URL slug under permalink just says Podcast. We don't want it to say Podcast-1 or anything like that. It just needs to say Podcast. Click on Publish, and now we're ready to go back to show it, and then click on Publish as well. So if we open up our site here and then we type in forward slash podcast, we should now see our new podcast design here. You will notice that there's nothing under the featured episodes section and there's nothing under latest episodes. And that is because we actually need to go in and create our show notes in WordPress and categorize them as podcast and then add a tag called featured episode and that is going to pull into those areas. So let's take a look at the design and show it, and I'll show you how all that works. If you scroll down to the featured episodes area, just open up this canvas, and you'll see under the canvas settings that it is a post view lookup canvas, and the tag name slug is featured episode. So basically, this just means that show it is going to look for any blog post that has been tagged as featured episode and then add your posts here. So there's four areas. There's the first post, second post will go in this area, third post will go in this area, and that fourth post will go right here. So again, only show notes that you create in WordPress that have been tagged with featured episode will go here. Scrolling down here, the latest episodes area, if we click on this first section here, you're gonna see it's the same style post view lookup. So show it is going to be looking for blog posts that have been categorized as podcast. And it's gonna show the first episode here, second, third, and then it's gonna go down here, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So when you're going and editing your page, you can update all the content and all the images everywhere, but I wouldn't touch anywhere in here. I mean, you can update this title, um, here and here, but I wouldn't touch anything else and then you can update This title here catch up on and then the latest episodes you can update that But I wouldn't touch any of the settings in here because it's already set up for you um, To read anything that's categorized as podcast and anything that's tagged as featured episode All right, so with that said, let's jump over to WordPress and create our first show note so we can actually see how this works so to create show notes in WordPress, you're basically just gonna create blog posts that are gonna act as show notes. 
So these will show up on your blog homepage, but they're also gonna show up on your podcast page as well, which is a good thing. When people are exploring your blog, they wanna see your show notes. And when they go to your podcast page, they definitely wanna see your show notes as well there. So go ahead and create a post. You can add your show note title at the very top. You're gonna to add all of your content and I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here as well. You can actually grab any Spotify podcast link. So we're gonna use the Gold Digger podcast by Jenna Kutcher as an example. You grab any of these episode links. So you could just click this little share icon here or click the three dots uh, and then click share or hover over share and click copy episode link on your podcast show in Spotify. If you grab that link, you go back to edit post. If you just simply paste that link, it's going to do this really beautiful Spotify embed where people can listen to your episode right there on your show notes page, which is a really cool feature. Once you have your title, your content, and then you've embedded your show notes via the Spotify link, there's a few other things that we need to do. Um, so in the post settings here, we want to scroll down and you can see under categories that I already have a podcast category. Um, and I'm going to check this to make sure that this post is categorized as podcast so it shows up under that latest episodes area. If you don't already have the podcast category, just simply click add new category, type in podcast here and then click add new category and that's going to add the podcast category for you. Next is the tag. If we tag it as featured episode, it's going to show up in that featured episode area here, right here, featured episodes. And so this is again, optional. This one I would say should happen on every single show notes. You should always categorize it as podcast, but this is obviously optional. Only ones that you want to feature in that top section, you can add this featured episodes tag. Now to add it, it's simple. All you have to do is literally type in featured episode. You can see that I've already created that tag, so it automatically pops up here. If you don't already have it, just type in featured episode, just like that, and then hit enter, and it's gonna add that tag. And the last thing you'll wanna do is add a featured image. Once you add your featured image, go ahead and publish your show notes. And if we head back to our podcast page and we refresh, you'll see that that first one automatically showed up here. We didn't have to go in to show it and add the title and link it all up and everything. It automatically shows up. We scroll down. Here's the show notes listed under latest episodes. Now for fun, let's just go back to the post editor. Let's remove the tag and then republish it. So let's hit update. We go back to our podcast page and we refresh. That show note is going to still stay here under latest episodes because it's still categorized as podcast, but you'll notice that it has been removed from featured episodes. So you'll probably have a list of a bunch of different show notes. Now you can hand select the ones that you want as featured episodes, just tag them as featured episodes, and then the rest of them will show here. I hope that this has helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.